and WJ. We're getting closer and closer to Fury versus Usyk or Usyk versus Fury, however you want to put it. And my opinion hasn't changed one bit, other than a long time ago when then I said when I said that Fury would win. Like I keep saying, you know, the more that I watch and study fighters, I feel like if Fury didn't want to fight, there's a reason why, so I got Usyk. And, you know, of course, a lot of people that are behind the scenes would like Fury Joshua as I would. So I'm hoping there's no politics involved. I'm hoping that uh, Usyk gets a fair shake. I hope Fury gets a fair shake. Don't want to see any funny business. But I just think that um, Usyk's style will be, will be too much for uh, Tyson Fury. And don't be surprised if Tyson Fury gets knocked down. Don't be surprised if Tyson Fury gets up because we know that routine. Every time Tyson Fury gets knocked down, he just looks around like, okay, I've been here before. You know the routine. Get back up. So don't be surprised if uh, Tyson Fury hits the canvas. I'd be surprised if Usyk does. If he does hit the canvas, it'll be from body punches. Fury keeps talking about going to Usyk's body, or he said that way back. He was telling Joshua in the rematch to go to Usyk's body. And I saw a quick clip of Baturbiev on Instagram, and he was saying that Usyk can be hurt to the body, but he didn't recommend that Fury try it too often, like that Usyk might be ready for it and come with a nice counter. So my opinion hasn't changed. The closer we get to the fight, I still got Usyk. Go check out a great interview I did with Boxing on the Edge on my main platform, the J. Roos Theory. And uh, I think you won't be disappointed. Go subscribe to Boxing on the Edge. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and all that. And let's make sure this page takes off like a car with the brakes off. LSR forever. Appreciate you guys watching.